Okay, greetings everyone. It is time to do the second to last book haul of the year because I won't be doing any more book buying until Christmas. Or I'll be getting some more books at Christmas. Um, so I've been uh, making the rounds today. Uh, it's been like a month and a half, two months since I've been on the, Like I got a route that I'll go. There's like a library, but it doesn't really have anything. And you got like a Goodwill, and there's another Goodwill. And then there's a different thrift store, and then there's another Goodwill. And then I found this new place that's like, I was going around to each library, because they have that Friends of the Library thing, people donate books and then they sell them real cheap. I found a place where they consolidate, and they have, like all of them come to this one little bookstore, it's like a really cool little place inside a movie theater and stuff. And there's a little woman in there, and she had like a desk that was like a piano. And she's real nice, and she shows me like each shelf, like what category it is, and how much it costs and stuff. It was really cool. So I'll probably be going back there on my on my route. But oh, I saw this weird car coming back that was like it looked like a go kart because it had any doors on it. it. Looked like a wreck or something that somebody crashed, and they like in a video game, like you wrecked it and it still runs. It was like on the road. And then, like, on the way out there, I saw... There's so many state troopers pulling people over today. It's like a... What is it? It's like the end of the month, so I guess they're filling quotas. There was, like, two people on this side of the road that were being pulled over separately. And there was another guy on the other side of the road. There was, like, three state troopers in one spot. And then you go on down, like, a half mile, there's another state trooper had somebody else pulled over down there. And then on the way back, I didn't even know this, my app on my phone... Um, it's not Waze. I use just like a regular Google map. It said like uh, speed trap ahead. And I was like, oh, there's state trooper. As soon as it said that, I was like, that's pretty cool. So, let me show you this thing first. This is something I got at the Salvation Army. Got this last week. It was like $1.50. It is a uh, Santa Claus carving. I think this is wood. Or, no, nah, maybe it's resin. Anyway, it's like an old Saint Nick. I put that back there on the shelf somewhere, I don't know. And then, I don't even remember what I bought. I think this is also Salvation Army. Remember, I got some good stuff, so let's see. Colorado Kid, Stephen King. I uh, really need to get Joyland. I haven't found it yet. Then I got American Gods by Neil Gaiman. That's the one. There's a TV show out now. It's got a little French Revolution bookmark in it. A lot of this stuff has some like bookmarks and things in it. We'll look at that and see what all we got in there. Uh, what is this? Some kind of sci-fi book. Gordon Dixon, The Human Edge. It's got a bunch of aliens on it. Published by Bayon. And then we got The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith. For, written by J.K. Rowling. That's what the sticker says. Written by J.K. Rowling. Oh man, I should have got... They had that... What's that one book that she wrote that's not Harry Potter? They had that at that cool bookstore. Um, it's not about wizards or anything. What is this really written by her? I gotta look this up. Some days I gotta research. Casual vacancy. And then. What is this book? The Silk One. Let me look it up. Robert Galbraith. Cormoran Strike number two. It doesn't say anything about J.K. Rowling on it. It's just like a, a misplaced sticker, I think. So this has nothing to do with J.K. Rowling. But, uh, some kind of private detective. I may have got ripped off on this one, boys. Uh, let's see. And then we got 
another Robert McCammon gone south. He's where it wrote Boy's Life. This one's about Louisiana. Thought I had something else from that trip that was really good. I think I put something on the shelf already. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, if I think of it, I'll bring it up. So, today's trip. Let's see, this one. I'm gonna say, I thought the thrift store that has its own name was gonna be, like that's where I usually had like arm loads last time. They had like four books and I had to really stretch it to make it interesting. Um, which one was that one? Goodwill really came through today. Yeah. This one is from the thrift store. So I went to Goodwill. Here's one of them I got at Goodwill. Origin by Dan Brown. Alright. This was like a dollar I think for hardcovers and then wait I've got another one somewhere where was it anyway I've got the same book that actually has the dust jacket on it this one didn't have a dust jacket so I was like, I'll just get this one, and we'll just say that it costs $2 instead of $1. So now I have two copies. I got several books now that I have, like, multiple copies of that I could do, like, a giveaway. Or... I wanted one of those things where you ship, a, like, ten books to somebody, and then they pick what they want, and they replace it with whatever they don't want, and you send it to the next person, and you have, like, a list. Seems really fun. This is one I just kind of got because I only had three books. Uh, this is the, um, the book that... The Monument Men movie was based on some the greatest treasure hunt in history. Robert Edsel, story of the Monuments Men. I guess it's something to do with the Jews and the Holocaust and Washington D.C. Kind of like a lot uh, Da Vinci Code or something. And I got a hardcover Michael Crichton, uh, State of Fear, which is not one that I have already. So that's good. That goes into the Crichton shelf. This one I'm really excited about. This is one of the authors I've been wanting to get that I haven't had yet. Night Angel, the complete trilogy by Brent Weeks. So this is like an omnibus, three books in one. Uh, so what are the three books? The Way of Shadows, Shadow's Edge, and Beyond the Shadows. So the Black Prism series, whatever that one's called, I really want to check that out. But I haven't read any Brent Week, so this will be some way to like, see if he's any good, see if it's something I like. How come all of these say Night Angel on it? Complete Trilogy. Wait, Night Angel? That's not one of the things. Oh, because it's called the Night Angel Trilogy. Lightbringer is the other one. Black Prism. Blinding Knife. Really psyched about this, though. And then, I had the Steve Jobs documentary or, uh, biography. So, it was like, what, 50 cents or something? <laughs> or a dollar? Maybe it's a dollar. I don't remember. If you want to read about Steve Jobs, it's in like mint condition. The pages are a little bit something. Uh, I thought there was a book mark. Just thought. Okay. So that's what I got at the thrift store. Now, all of the Goodwills combined. I mean, it just fucking <laughs> it was loads and loads of books. First of all, Robin Hobb, Ship of Magic, Book One of the Live Ship Traders. 
I got Mad Ship over there, book two, so I need to read this one before I can read that one, so I needed this really bad. I actually want to get all the Robin Hobb books in the UK covers, because they look really cool. Uh, this is probably my second favorite edition that's got this kind of cover on it, but uh, the American covers are really shit. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo! First book of the series, I had started collecting it. I've got Girl Who Played With Fire, Girl Who Did Something Over There. I don't know what all the other ones in between are, but I need like the first one. I got the first one. I'm getting lucky. We got some good shit that I needed. Uh, this one. City of Ashes, book two of the Mortal Instruments. I've heard of the Mortal Instruments. It's kind of like young adulty, but I'm kind of hyped. Because the old black bag, when I got to the library, right, the library had City of Bones. So that's two of them. There's like 10 of these fucking things or more. I don't know how many Moral Instruments books there are, but I got City of Ashes and City of Bones. The library ones were $2 because paperback. They Adult hardbacks were $4, so it's not like the same price you'd pay if you get books from the library. But uh, the bookstore for the library, it like doubles the price, but it, can come, it gets them all in one place. This one is an ex-library book called... Gemina, the Illuminae Files-02 sequel to the New York Times bestseller Illuminae. So this is a book two, but look at all this, look at all this stuff in it. It doesn't even look like a book, or it looks like a, a dossier. It's got like a bunch of illustrations and kind of like fancy stuff in it. It looks really cool. It's a sci-fi book. This is like, it's got like stuff that you can't really read unless you look at it at an angle on the back. Genre, undefinable, novel, unforgettable. It's like a, yeah, it's sci-fi though. What does this say? Moving to a space station at the edge of the galaxy was always going to be the death of Hannah's social life. Nobody said it might actually get her killed. The saga that began with the breakout bestseller, blah, blah, blah. Space station Heimdall? Where two characters will confront the next wave of Baytex assault. Hannah is the station captain's pampered daughter. So it's like by the space station, man. And it's just like... It's so cool looking. It's like... It's just like just a bunch of different computer fonts. All of the fonts keep changing. Some of it looks like typewriter. Some of it looks like a Word document. Some of it's drawing. Some of it looks like ASCII text. Here's like some drawings of the space station. I mean, this is a cool fucking book. I've never even heard of it. Anywho. Then, oh, here's the Dan Brown with the cover. So, I haven't even heard of Origin. What is this about? Robert Langdon, same guy from uh, Da Vinci Code. Uh, something about discovery will change the face of science. I don't know, I'll put it on the shelf. And what do we got here? This is a compilation, an anthology called Blood Life, Blood Light. Charlene Harris, she's the one that wrote the True Blood books. Jim Butcher, Dresden Files, he's got it in here. And we got Sherilyn Kenyon. I always see her books because she's always alphabetically next to Stephen King in the library. And Kelly Armstrong, I don't know who she is. And many more. This is like a real large font. Let's see if there's anybody else in here I recognize. Jim Butcher's story is called Day Off. Uh, I don't really recognize anybody else. Evening with Al Gore is Charlene Harris story. Alright, whatever. That's pretty interesting. 50 cents, I think. 
Girl who played with fire. Oh, dang it. That's one I've already got. I didn't realize. I think I just wasted a dollar on this one. All right, whatever. The Martian. I already read this, but I didn't have my own copy. So I'll put it up there with the uh, Artemis. Still got to get Hail Mary. I don't think I have that one yet, do I? Project Hail Mary. Alright. This one, I believe, is science fiction too. Sky Key. An endgame novel. It's supposed to be clues in this book. I don't know if it leads to an actual real world treasure. But it says... Endgame is here, the world begins to crumble, and Ravel go mad, but the players still play. Earth Key has been found, two keys, and nine players remain. The keys must be found, and only one player can win. It sounds like Ready Player One. Something about Ethiopia, England, and New York. Yeah, this is probably going to be pretty good. There is... This is weird. There's a place in the book where it looks like somebody just kind of stabbed it with a knife or something and it made a hole through several pages. Who does shit like this? I remember when I was in kindergarten, there was this black girl that took her fingernails and took my math textbook and just scratched all the pages. Kind of like this. Yeah, this was the first page. It like has a big old rip down it. You see that? And then it just gets less and less until about page 90-ish. Why the fuck did somebody stab a book in the middle? It's not even like stabbed in the front, it's stabbed in the middle. Is that one of the clues? I don't know what that black girl's problem was. Just me. Picked me out and just clawed my book. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Have you ever observed a tiger? Something like that. Oh, for an instance, this person is Sidonia, heir to the Galactic Senate. So that's all I had to read. I saw a Galactic Senate. And I'm like, okay, this is sci fi, and I'll put it in my, in my box. Uh, now one of the galaxy's most dangerous weapons is masquerading in a world of corrupt politicians and two-faced senators' children, and Nemesis find herself with the one thing she's been told she doesn't have, humanity. Nothing in it. So that's cool. Some random sci-fi. Now this one, I think, is a popular young adult. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The Lunar Chronicles. Got a nice little Harlequin looking thing here in the front. Uh, one of them. Um, what's this say? Oh, hang on. This is the woman that wrote the Cinder books. Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, Winter, Stars Above, Fairest. So is this a different series? I would have got any of those books if I saw them. I haven't seen them yet. So this is somebody I've been wanting to get. I need to research this to see like if it's part of that or if it's like its own deal. Kind of like uh, Stephanie uh, Moss. What's that girl's name? Stephanie Moss. Everybody like goes ape shit over her. Like all of her books are just. In everywhere. Now this one, I'm super hyped. I've been wanting to get some V.E. Schwab Darker Shade of Magic. I've seen this on all the booktuber shelves. This is like super popular. I don't know what it's about. Something to do with like London apparently and magicians. And it's kind of like Harry Potter-ish maybe. It's got a map of London on the front. Victoria Schwab, though, everybody says is the shit. Can't believe I had... Um, this is not a book you would expect to find in a thrift store, I don't think. This is one you'd, like, collect or you'd do something with it. <laughs> now, this one... This one's a little crazy. This one, I was like, 
This is cool. Harry Potter y la Piedra Filosofal. So this is the Spanish version of Philosopher's Stone. Spanish is one of the languages I've been trying to learn. One of the ways to learn languages is to like actually read a book, like a kid's book, in Spanish. So I've got the English version, I've got the Spanish version, so I want to learn Spanish. Nuestra historia comienza cuando el señor y la señora Dursley se despertaron en martes con un cielo cubierto de nubes grises que amenazaban tormenta. Nuestra historia, new history, comienza cuando how many Mr. and Mrs. Dursley despertaron on Tuesday with, with a... Cielo cubierto de nubes grises. Okay, mine is a bon tormenta. Probably something about tormenting Harry. I mean, you have to like go through sentence by sentence to like figure out what it is. Like, that's dope. I had this like little website where I was reading like Chicken Little in Spanish. This is cool. We got Spanish Harry Potter boys. <laughs> who would have, who would have guessed I would have come home with a Spanish Harry Potter today? That goes in a special pile. Now this one, I remember somebody talking about this. Wittershins by Charles DeLint. I think it was, uh, oh man, I think there's like a blood stain on it or something. Um, what's that guy? It's like craft chest. What's his name? You know the guy. Uh, Brian Lee Durfee. Brian Lee Durfee was talking about this, I believe. Or somebody was, a booktuber. Wittershins. Um, fairy courts set in shopping malls in the Bohemian Street scene of Newford to Crousey area. Crousey area. So this has something to do with fairies. Charles DeLint. Maybe I heard about him from like the hellier folks. Because if it's about fairies, that would make sense. He wrote The Onion Girl. You may have heard of. I think this is like popular. I don't know. It's also one of these big size paperbacks that I like too. I like that. Alright, that's all of them. It had these little things inside. This book belongs to Trip, age 7. Oh, this is a book inside of a book. I ripped them off. I got two books for the price of one. It's like a kid's book. It's like some birds. Or something. I thought it was a bookmark. This is like another book. <laughs> okay. Now we've got to get into the bags. We got, this one's a heavy boy. Oh my God, Ken Follett. Winter of the World. I saw this like at a couple of different good wheels. Never read any Ken Follett. Why is that so heavy? It's so goddamn heavy. It's so weird. It's got a map of like 1960s Europe, looks like. Dresden, Versailles, Brussels. So I figured I would give Ken Fodder a try at some point. Never had any of his books before. This one, the good thing I got the, the big bookshelves because it's heavy as fuck. Uh, John Sanford. This is another one. Brian Lee Durfee reads. The Devil's Code. A kid novel. 40% off Barnes & Noble. I got it for a dollar. This is about artist, computer whiz, and professional criminal, and a sometime partner, sometime lover, Lou Ellen. The army left him with a dislike for bureaucracy and the skills to do something about it. But ooh, this seems pretty good. I thought it was just going to be a regular old detective murder mystery bullshit. This looks like it could be something good. Ooh. 
And then we've got another Greg Isles Devil's Punch Bowl. It's got some Devil's Dice on the front. Uh, yeah, it's got skulls on these dice. I mean, I've been collecting Greg Isles. Oh, a lot of this is in italics, but I guess that's fine. I think I pretty much got all the Greg Isles books now. I need to, like, go through and see what I don't have. And then we got, um, another Goodwill bag. This one I've seen several places before. Never bought it. The Book Thief. Everybody talks about this book, I think, by Marcus Zusak. Maybe there's a different Book Thief book that's something else I'm thinking of. I don't know. I've seen this around before, though. It's got a little dust on it. Dust bunnies are getting on the other side. Um, fanatical Germans, Jewish fist fighter, a lot of theory. Yeah, this is something to do with Nazi book burnings. There's another book about people that steal books and they get powers from the books that they steal or they eat them. The book eaters. The book eaters. That's the one I want. This one is something to do with Nazis and book burnings. So, I mean, it's probably good. <coughs> I don't know. We'll check it out. Oh, you know all those dwarf books I got over there? I got the dwarves, War of the Dwarves, the Orcs. Wait a minute, what? Shit. What is that? What is that? Is this not... Second Omnibus is what I have. This has Weapons of Magical Destruction, Army of Shadows, and Inferno. Army of Shadows. Fuck! So I already have this. I have an Omnibus edition. This now I got another copy for a giveaway. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Look at that. A little bit a little bit taller. Same. Oh, this is the Orbit. Orbit I think is my favorite publisher. I might do it like my top ten publishers. This one's with a G. Who, who's the G's? Who's this? Orion. Alright, so... A little bit of a lose there. I'm sure you've probably heard of Jack Kerouac on the road. Very popular classic book about a guy who travels America. Uh, never read it. I don't know if it's good, but I got it for a dollar. A dollar. It's worth a dollar. Doesn't have that old book smell that I like. What else we got? What else we got? The Sanatorium. A novel. Reese's Book Club. Sarah Pierce. This looks like the Great American Novel. Like one of those kind of fancy books, but it's a sanatorium in a snowy place, kind of like The Shining kind of a setting. It says something about a splendid gothic thriller. What does this say? Uh-huh. Sinister plays, troubling rumors, and isolated getaway spot in the Swiss Alps. Job as a detective. Oh, so it's a detective thing. But, I mean, it seems like it could be good. Pretty cool looking book. Uh, I'll put that over there. We got Kim Stanley Robinson, Aurora. Another, I just saw it was sci fi. Incredible story of our first voyage beyond the solar system. Author of 2312. Something to do with. Oh, they've actually written several books. One series called Three Californias, a Mars trilogy, Science in the Capitol. So this is a sci-fi author I haven't heard of that I can get a taste of, maybe. If this is, like, a standalone or book one of a series. 
I don't know. Need to research this one a little bit. See what the dealio is. And then we got another American, great American novel. John Bimrose, The Island Walkers. Oh, I thought it was The Island by a guy named Walkers, but it says John Bimrose at the bottom when I bought it. Um, this says, it's in Ontario, an island in the Atawan River. Uh, generations of workers live among the other mill workers. Family troubles begin summer 1965 when a union organizer comes to town. Alf Walker is forced to choose between low to his friends at the mill and advancement up the company ranks. Sounds like Darlene's plot on the Connors right now. Yeah. Okay. I love a good great American novel. I like the idea of it. I don't know if I actually like reading them. Because I haven't yet. I've just been collecting them. So, that leaves us with the other books from the bookstore. The library bookstore. And guess what I got? It's for $4. Stephen King Hearts in Atlantis. A hardcover. Stephen King. Normally, $10 to $15 is what you're going to pay for that. I got it for $4. This one includes the very popular story. Low Men in Yellow Coats. Part of the Stephen King multiverse. Red to the Dark Tower. Shit yeah, boys. Some say this is the best of his anthologies or short story collections. Uh, four Past Midnight. Got the Langoliers. Uh, it's pretty good. Nightmare the Dreamscapes. Pretty good. Also... Oh, this is an also an anthology. Full Dark No Stars. Stephen King. Why is this? Oh. Let's check it. It's covered up a bunch of pages. This one is a short story collection. It has the 1922 story in it, which you may have seen in Netflix. Got adapted. Big Driver, Fair Extension, A Good Marriage. That's the four books in this one. I've never read it. Mint condition, boys. Mint condition, Stephen King hardcover. There's the man himself, looking like a stud on the back. And I've got one more in here. One more book. One more exciting book in this massive book haul. Just look at this. Look at, look at, look at all, look at all these books. Look at all those. Look at all these. Look at all these books. Books. We got one more. It's like Christmas. Oh, yeah. Another author I've been wanting to collect. Alastair Reynolds. Terminal World. Sci-fi author. I have no Alastair Reynolds at all. This is my first one. It's like getting my first grade bear. I don't know if he's good, but I feel like he's going to be real good. He has written The Inhibitor Trilogy, Revelation Space, Universe, The Prefect Dreyfus Emergencies, The Revenger series, a couple short story collections. Wait a minute, is this like... One, two, three, this is like the sixth book in the Revelation Space Universe? So, I don't know if I can read this yet if it's part of a series. I don't need to look into that. But, I've been looking for any Alistair Reynolds, so there you go. What have we got? We got a new Greg Isles. We got a Robin Hobb that I've been needing. We got a Spanish Harry Potter. We got Darker Shade of Magic. We got all kinds of girls with dragon tattoos. We got an Alistair Reynolds. We got two hardcover Stephen King's The Book Thief some Ken Follett we got the Brent Weeks trilogy we got a new Dan Brown I never heard of two copies of it and we got a bunch of other good stuff we got the girl who wrote what was it the Cinder series we got some classic Jack Kerouac in there all kinds of stuff today Oh my god. 
I'm ready to go to bed. I've been up since 7 o'clock last night. It's 1.30 in the afternoon of a different day. Going for 24 hours? I should just stay on up. I'm going to try to maybe <laughs> go shoot a deer tomorrow. I don't know. I'll just maybe I'm just My knees are bad and it's cold. I may just skip it and just try to live off of pork. I got some really good deal on some busted butts the other day. Did you see that ghost just fly across here? A lot of times I'm seeing little orbs when I look over my videos and it's like dust particles or ghosts or something in this room. Anyway. <laughs>